Greetings deceivers and non-deceivers. It's an Indiana morning on the 20th of May, uh, Thursday. This is um, what we've got around here. This is me, my beautiful face, and you know, you can say whatever you want to, I know it's beautiful. It's uh, older than what it used to be, which uh, I really, oh, this is a beautiful tree. Look at that beautiful tree, it's a birch. Um, it's, it's older than what it used to be, but I'm, I'm more mature. Beautiful birch tree. And uh, the white bark. I believe that's a birch. Beautiful. The apartments I live around. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't speak my language. You know what I mean? It's like um, when, uh, for me, it's like when you know, you're around computer people and you've never seen, or you don't, you know, basically, you've, for the most part, you've never seen a computer in your life. Like these old grandmas or great grandmas, they want a computer to type a letter, you know, and they don't know how to turn it on. That's what I'm dealing with. That's how I feel. Okay. Um, we're talking about 1 Corinthians um, 13. When it talks about um, love, and it talks about faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. And uh, I'm dealing with people anywhere, right here in Indiana, that do not operate in faith, that do not operate in hope, that do not operate in love. Here's a little jungle gym. I think kids are on it sometimes. I don't know if I've ever seen a kid on it. I'm dealing with people that don't deal in faith, Although they'll, they'll rattle on about it. See, it's, it's, like, um, it's like pig Latin. You can get something out of it. But if somebody takes that. See, I'm on the jungle gym now. Isn't that nice? If somebody takes. This is made for parents too. Which I'm going to be someday. Very soon. God help me. <laughs> um, now, um. It's like pig Latin. It's not a real language. But you can delude yourself into thinking that it is. You, you know, it's not a real language. People's apartments around here. It's, it's not a real language. It's bullcrap. It's an alternate form of English. It's the same thing with sign language. I learned some sign language from some people that I used to go to church with. And, you know, I'm just completely a drudgery. I feel church is a complete and utter drudgery. And people know there are hypocrites in it. People will tell you they're hypocrites. The reason people go there is they love the hypocrites. It's as simple as that. They love the hypocrites. Some people are sincere, but they get chewed up. Just like they get chewed up at, all, at the office. Some people love to go to the office and office parties and all that stuff. Where people chew other people up. And parties, and um, they uh, they make a garish display at parties. I did go to college. I did go to parties. A cup. I think I went to more than one. <clears throat> but um, one in particular, I remember. Well, let's see, at least one. And you know, I like to be around people. But, and I enjoy party, I had did enjoy parties when I went to them, but I don't enjoy people that are nasty, and you have so many of them. When you talk about faith, that's trust in God. That is, um, it's basic, um, but it's misunderstood. When people don't have an idea of what, I mean, somebody could say, you say, do you speak a foreign language? They say you speak big Latin. Or they say sign language is a little bit closer to a foreign language. Sign language is a paralanguage. It basically mimics English, you know, through signs. Yeah, it's one of those it's one of those halfsies type things, maybe. But pig Latin's not a real language. When you say you speak a foreign language and you say you speak pig Latin, you know, that ain't a foreign language. that is not a foreign language. If you don't have faith, you don't have hope. If you don't have hope, you don't have love. And it's like 
people don't even know where the, the broad side of the barn is to hit it. I appreciate people that can hit a broad side of a barn, but when somebody goes up to something that's not a broad side of the barn, not a, not a broad side of the barn and calls it a broad side of the barn or calls it a barn, it's pointless. Without the terminology being understood, you know, it, it's the same thing. You hear people tell sometimes use words that they don't know uh, what the word means. <clears throat> I've even I even heard um, somebody they were talking and and they said some stuff and they said I don't even know what I said. You know, it's the same thing with the language of faith. You know, with what God is with love, you cannot explain it to somebody who there are apartments on the other side too you cannot explain it to somebody who has <clears throat> no comprehension of even what you're talking about it's like this jungle gym here if you've never seen a jungle gym and everybody was talking about it you could start talking about a jungle gym but you'd be lying, you'd be a hypocrite. And that's what we're dealing with. Hypocrites, when they want to rattle on about their religion, now if they legitimately don't understand, that's one thing. But when they start pontificating, because it's popular among a, a Christian type of group, it's just, it's just garbage. I mean, you can't hit the broad side of a barn if you don't know what a broad barn looks like, unless it's by accident. And there aren't any barns around here. So the chances are very low. Um, faith is trust in God, trust in something you don't see. So it's like the story, the children's story, the emperor was well, speaking of children. It's like the, the story, the, the children's story, the emperor has no clothes. That story was written because a person wanted to say something that many people believe and he may have believed or she may have believed is that religion is bullcrap. You're talking about something that doesn't exist. The emperor was told the clothes were invi the, the, the thread was invisible and the clothes were invisible. And yet everybody pretended. It's a lesson about religion and it's a good lesson. Although I'm not saying the, the story is good and I'm not saying the, the writer was well-intentioned at all. I don't think he was. It was terminology I didn't understand. Until I experienced the love of God, through brothers and sisters in Christ, I couldn't understand it. Um, or until I was born again, I couldn't understand it. God's love is uncompromising. They want to, by, by that I mean, we're talking about faith too, and faith and hope. Hope is based on faith. Love is based on faith. Otherwise you go looking for love in people and it doesn't work out. But not unless they're born again people. Love is a concept, God's love is a concept the world does not understand. It has no concept of what we're even talking about because their love is not our love. God's love is uncompromising. By that I mean it doesn't matter what you do. As long as you're sticking with God, it doesn't matter what you do. It really, really doesn't. And we categorize people by certain sins. You know, people will say we all sin, but then they say, well, so-and-so did that. That is exactly the opposite of love. When somebody says, you know, if you do this, I'll love you, or if you do this, I'll like you. That is the opposite of God's love. So, oh, there's another beautiful tree. Oh, I wanted to get the sunrise here. Early Indiana morning. John Cougar Mellencamp from Indiana, hey. Um, and it takes a while for a Christian to be able to teach, which, which reminds me of the young, the young on YouTube that don't know First of all, they don't even know God. You know, Paul once wrote me, he said, some of you have no knowledge of God. I say, and he had to actually say it. I say this to your shame. But God 
is not going to judge you. But he is going to expect you to change. God is merciful. He expects us to live godly in this world. And if you want to see the opposite of that, it's all around you. It's all on YouTube. Everything's a trick. Everything's a, a snooker. Everything is crap. And when you get tired of that, try out God, even if you think he's a jerk. He's not. There's the sunrise right there. All right. Well, I'm running out of time. So just think when you realize God is not what you think he is, but is so good. Some people become convinced and follow him. God bless you all. Thank you.